Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more No Man's Sky Next gameplay. Picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, and I have no idea what that means. Did we just land here, or have we been here? It's been a while. <laughs> Sorry, but it's been a while since uh, I played on this save. I've been playing a lot of my single-player save. By single-player, I mean, you know, just me playing, because it's fun to play. But, uh, so I don't really remember what we were up to here. I, I remember that w I was trying to stay on target and... <laughs> I was trying to stay focused and accomplish something. I haven't been doing that great of a job at that. But, uh, let's see. So, let's pull up the primary missions here. Uh, we've got some community research we're supposed to be doing with Polo. But it looks like we're ready to get back in touch with Nod and Polo. I'm supposed to get back to my scientist as we expand the base. That's kind of what we were working on, right? We were working on expanding the base. Uh, for now, I, I, can, I can turn in a mission here. Redirected consignment. Um, kill some creatures, which I don't really want to do. Return to the overseer I do want to do. And search compu base computer archives, which is kind of a glitched mission as far as I understand it. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that too much. But let's see. Can I turn in a mission here? Do I, or, you know, you sell stuff. How about you over here? We gotta go over there. Turn something in. That's a nice looking ship there, huh? Oh, don't, no, oh, don't leave. We were admiring your ship. Oh, come back. He's not coming back. Can I, can I turn in a mission with you, my friend? No. Wait, I was in the right place before. This is the tech merchant. What am I doing? Oh, my goodness. Off to a great start here, guys. Off to a great start. Running back over to the other side. Oh, my gosh. Get up there. Right, here's my mission agent. Hello, Conscript Negolabil Bob. I'm going to hand in a mission. I'm going to hand in my redirected consignment and get 235 nanite clusters. That's good. My standing with the Viking has increased. That's all well and good, but I think my standing with the Viking is already pretty freaking high. I'd like to be increasing my standing with some other races soon. Do I have things I need to unload for my inventory? Probably should have actually looked at my inventory before I did this, but... So, yeah, guys, thank you all. S 60 hours in, I'm finally figuring some stuff out. And I appreciate you all for your attempts to educate me in what I should be doing and how I should be doing this. And I've just not been doing a great job with all that. But I understand now that I really should have been, when, when we expanding our exosuit inventory slots, I really should have been looking at the cargo slots here, expanding my high capacity inventory slots. So I've done a little bit of that, but I need to do more of it. Because as you progress through the game, I think you need more and more stuff, and you need to be able to carry more and more stuff. So, where are we now? We are... Well, my freighter is here. That's good news. It looks like I've got a damaged... A damaged ship that I need to repair. And we are getting a hailing... A hail. And remember, the last three times I've tried to answer this hail, the game is locked up. Let's give it one more try now that the game has been updated a couple of times. Hey, it's Polo. Okay, the universe has greatly changed. Evolution has clocked a thousand loops, friend. The very metals and minerals of the world are refreshed, echoed by the, the diets of all strange and splendid beasts. I believe the hex cores have been attracting creatures, nibbling at this anomalous snack. We must observe the effects, feed our animal friends, and search the results for clues. This joy-stuffed research we do. I have found a prime site to continue our research, Traveler friend. I am transmitting you coordinates for a portal to bypass the light years. Through the gateway, our research begins. Great. So, Nada has given us some kind of mission to feed animals, perhaps in a specific place. Uh, 
we'll figure that out in just a second, but for now, we got to get over here and repair our damaged ship. And then send them off on another mission, hopefully. Grind, Tilopa Captain. Our ship has suffered greatly in your service. Honor us with maintenance. Well, what's damaged? Core systems damage. Continued operation risks destruction. Mark the damaged components and I will attempt to repair them. Because I am multi-talented when it comes to this kind of stuff. I don't think I've ever been on a ship with this layout before. This is interesting. What do you need to damage the car damaged cargo repair pod tritium, which we have? All right, one down. And what do you need? Oh, some. I didn't see what it needed, but whatever it was, we had it. So now that's repaired. Is that it? Was it just the two things that needed repair? No, we. There's apparently one more. Oh. Back here in the aft of the ship. Big ship, big ship. Big, oh, oh, easy, oh, didn't mean to do that. I, I guess we gotta go up and come back here. How do I get down there? Nope, not that way. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Lovely. Yeah, sorry, I've never been on a ship with this layout before. I'm not really sure where we're supposed to go. I'm guessing down now? Put it down. This way, maybe? Yeah, let me... Let me... Let me through, please. Thank you. Airlock control unit is damaged. We need oxygen and gold to repair it. We have both. That's repaired. Excellent. That t these doorways are a little glitchy. Control unit. We need platinum, which we have. And now that's repaired. That should be it. The ship should be repaired. Yep. All right. Now we got to get back over to our frigate and launch another mission. But it looks like, and I'm just trying to remember here. It's been a while since I've played this, but it looks like we've only got two ships here, two frigates, and we need more. And if I, now that I'm mentioning that, I think that we've been looking for another ship to add to our fleet here. How much money do we have? We got 7 million units. That's plenty to add a frigate to our fleet. We just need to find a frigate that works for us. We've got, that's a research frigate. This one here... I can't tell off the top of my head what kind of frigate that is, but regardless, we need another one. So let's head over here and see there's four, at least four recruitable frigates here. That's another research ship. That's another research ship. That's another research ship. The one way off in the distance there. That's not a research ship. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Did we... Oh, wait a minute. Are we locking up? Oh, my gosh. Seriously, guys? <sighs> the game has freaking locked up. Uh, I'll be back. All right. Well, let's just not answer any more freaking hails until we get this all... Until we get somewhere and get this saved. Um, all right, so we got to get back to our base, right? There's our base there. Pulse engine is offline because we're still too close to the ship. Wait a bit. And... Boom.
Alright, so yeah, back in space with y'all. Trying to make some progress. Still enjoying this game. Like I said, about 65, maybe 70 hours in here. And uh, worth a buy as far as I'm concerned. I've really been enjoying myself. And, you know, I, I still get to planets and find stuff that I've never seen before. After 70 hours visiting multiple, multiple planets. So still, still good value for the moolah. We're not going to the ancient ruin. We are, in fact, going to our base. Right, it's all coming back to me now. This is the frozen base, or the base on the frozen planet. Still a beginner base, still very, very basic. But... We've got lots of salvage tech with which to unlock blueprints. So let's get some of that done. Still haven't moved stuff inside, but it's fine. All right, let's analyze all the blueprints, unlock all the good stuff here, because we got dozens of blueprints on us. What do we need? We need an L-shaped corridor. We need a square room. Bullshit insufficient salvage modules. Are they all up on my ship? Oh my goodness. My goodness. No, I didn't I didn't need to get in here. I just need to transfer stuff. Alright, got all those. That's plenty. Okay. Let's try this again. All right, we were going to do the square room, a T-shaped corridor, another square room, apparently, an X-shaped corridor, a eh, glass-shaped corridor, I guess, cylindrical room frame, I'm not sure what that's about. Might need a, l might need a ladder at some point. Ooh, a biodome for 10. We've got 17 left. What else do we need, maybe, before I just start randomly doing stuff. Um, I don't think we need any furniture just yet. Let's stick with the corridors and the rooms. We want the biodome. We want the curved corridor. And that's it. We've used up all the, the tech modules we had. That's fine. We op unlocked a bunch of stuff. And now let's try to advance our little storyline here. Hello, Navigator Iger. Remember me? I know it's been a while. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is an, an, an inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. I could steal a march on fate. Okay. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. The overseer asked me for microprocessors in order to design a we weapons terminal. Scientists should be able to assist with the task. I have no reason to disrupt. I shall find the microprocessors they need. Indeed. In order to do that, let us talk to the scientist. Hello. A fine base traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. O Korvax shall be so happy here. The Korvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Will you help me? Honor! To witness the monolith of the Traveler, honor! But please, Corvax, contribute! Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid, liquids close to Corvax hearts. I got two blueprints. I can now craft acid. And the other thing that it gave me. 
Traveler, harvest marrow bulb, and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you were gone. Well, that's good. The Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all honors. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt materials found underground. They will be used... They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Great. Great. Go clean some windows, buddy. I'll be right back. When I get back, I expect these freaking... We don't have any windows. I expect our non-existent windows to be clean. Get to work. Alright. So, we gotta find a... We've gotta find a cave. Which shouldn't be too hard. I'm just... Let me get up high and look around and see if I see any cave entrances around here. They shouldn't be too hard to find. Over there looks like a likely spot for one. seen any cave entrances right around here, but I'll bet, bet we could find one with just a little meandering. Why don't we meander? Let's go meander. We need 30 marrow bulbs and some cobalt. Oh, I've been playing with my pistol. I've been Playing the version with my pistol, the, the game... Oh, hey, hey, underground. And I, yep, cannot stress enough what a big deal it would be. Uh, yeah, I'm not going down there, am I? I mean, we can try. Let's see if it opens up into an area with some oxygen under here somewhere. I do like being underwater here, though. Anything to scan under here? No? Oh, oh, just trying to get some O2. Nothing. Nothing here. Ah, just like... Just like Subnautica. No, really, really nothing at all like Subnautica, but I still like it. Right, cave. Come to me, cave. Hi, big beast. It wants me to kill beasts. Do I want to kill? I don't want to kill these guys. I have a mission to kill beasts. Oh. Well, I, I killed a beast. Yay. Hooray, me. Yeah, I, I just, I'm going to abandon that mission. I don't even want to complete that mission. Got me just wandering around killing random beasts for no reason. Yuck. I know, Sentinels, I'm with you on that one. No killing of random beasts. Okay. Let's do a little recharge. Yep. No caves. Maybe over here. I saw what looked like a hole in the ground over here. Do the same thing, see if this leads anywhere under the water here. Nope. Nope. Hello, another little creature for me to kill, but not kill. Down 
Thermal protection falling. No caves in sight. Not seeing any caves. Just circle around, I guess. What's our cobalt situation? I mean, our carbon situation here. We got some carbon, no condensed carbon. I had some carbon left over in the exosuit there. I should be picking up carbon. That there's a there's an alien structure over there that we I don't think we've been to even though it's fairly close to the to the the the, the trading post there. Give me your oxygen, Wataria. It doesn't even matter for me to pick up the. The deuterium boost plant, because I don't have the boost. Uh, no pistol, I got no boost. Weapon charge complete, depleted. Oh, I've got lots of condensed carbon. Oh, that's in my that's in my um, my extended exosuit inventory. as well pick up more no caves really no caves I was expecting to have found a cave by now which would allow us to recharge our our suit um, our, our hazard protection but not finding any That water's cold. Oh, that's cold. Oh my. Twenty-one thousand credits for scanning a like a plant. I'm gonna have to manually recharge my suit protection here. Cause we're that cold now. Is that activated sodium? Sodium nitrate, I mean. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what I need. Thank you. I'll take some. And use it to recharge my suit. Alright, that was a good haul. Sodium nitrate. Now, I just need a cave. Man, there are caves all over this planet. Why are we... We're just not being... We're, we're just bad luck. Just bad luck. We got lots of condensed carbon now. Should we grab some nanites off of this damaged machinery? Uh, I need some pugnium, which we don't have. We only have seven of ten pugnium. Well, I could pick some up by killing this guy right here with our bolt caster. Now I should have enough pugnium to repair that. Where'd it go? 
and get out of here before the reinforcements arrive, hopefully. I hear you. I'll be out of here. Whoa. Whoa. What are those? Sack Venom. Never seen them before. What do you do with them? You pick up Sack Venom. And try not to get stabbed in the process. Okay. I don't know what Sack Venom's for, but... What? Elite Sentinel Force deployed? So... That... Temperature level stabilizing. It thinks I'm in some kind of cave. And this that we saw fairly clearly, this alien thing that we saw fairly clearly from the other side of the water is apparently completely encased in... Oh, here it is. Okay. Wow, the large artifact crate is, in fact, above ground. It thinks it's below ground, though. Strange, strange. Um, so where are the keys? Artifact fragment. Are we going to be able to get these keys? Because it looks like they're behind these walls that the terrain manipulator doesn't uh, do anything with. Hmm. Let's try going down. Well, we'll be underground for the storm. It's fine. Yeah, we're having to dig a long way for this. Because there's some weirdness going on with the terrain here. Okay. Oh, please. Really? <coughs> well, we don't need these two carbon. Um, we need the mordite. We need the oxygen. We don't really need the dioxide right now. All right, that gives us a little room. There's one key. Nope, the storm's hitting out there. Other ones are there. There, that's even closer. Yeah, I hear ya. But we're on a mission. got some glitchiness going on here. I, I don't know if I even want to mess with this. There it is. Okay, it was underwater. That's what it was. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that water was cold. Now, now how am I supposed to get to that one? Yeah, my, my terrain manipulator won't do anything to this. Will it? It's busting something up. It's breaking off some, some of this stuff. Okay. All right. I think we only need the three keys. We got three now. And the storm has cleared. We do definitely want this alien uh, artifact over here. This is going to be worth a lot of credits.
Unlock, 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 and... The Crate of Ancient Goblets, which is worth almost a million units. Okay. I'm not going to argue. And should we grab one of these Gravitino balls before we leave? Let's see if there's more than one here, and I'll grab them both. Nope, just the one. Bye-bye. So how are we doing on finding that cave <laughs> that we set out to find? Not so good. Oh, that's a long swim. Ugh. Yeah, no kidding. I'm swimming in freezing cold water. That's probably why my thermal protection is falling. At least the sentinels can't find me. Really not a single cave we've come across here. Anything scannable? No? Nothing scannable under here. So... I would really just like to be off doing our own thing right now. Moving through the universe and, and making our own way. But... So many recipes that you're going to need along the way are gated behind these these story missions. That you kind of have to do the story missions. To, to unlock the blueprints that you're going to need. So, I, gu I guess we just keep doing what we're supposed to be doing, what it wants us to do. Seems like everywhere you set down on on these planets, there's there's a cave entrance right nearby, except here where we are. We need regular carbon, carbon and mordite. I'll take. How is that possible? Because we got sac venom, we got gravitino balls, we got oxygen capsules, we got ferrite dust. And we've got the goblets to sell. And we don't have that many inventory slots unlocked yet. I've gotten so used to being able to use my pistol-powered jump jet boost to augment my movement speed that just this just feels like freaking crawling Th this was the this was the very first one we dived down into there was nothing down there Let's go up to the trading post and sell off this stuff we just picked up. And then maybe we take the ship and go somewhere. And hope that there's a, a cave entrance wherever we end up. Alright, I will sell the... Sack Venom. I will sell the crate of ancient goblets for 918,000 units and the gravitino ball. And now we're up to eight and a half million units in the bank, which is good. Anything in the ship? What? Oh. All 
the Viking effigies that we can't really get rid of. Corvax casing, carbon, condensed carbon, dihydrogen, mordite. No, okay. All right. Um, what can we travel to? Ancient ruin. We've been there many times. There was something else. That's on another planet. Yeah, there's that thing. That ancient ruin is on a whole other planet. Which doesn't do us much good. Why don't we just take off and fly around a bit? See if we can either spot a cave entrance from the air or find some um, structure to set down. Give us a reason to set down. Possible cave entrances, but th these are the ones that are that have water in them, which hasn't been too useful for us yet. Those are those cave entrances. Those may be cave entrances. Hello, Sentinel. Those cave entrances we just flew over? No. No, just little freaking ravines. Ugh, just, just little ditches. Shit. Well, let's look around. We need more tech modules. There's one. Cargo drops, cargo drops. Unknown building within running distance. Let's go check that out. Okay. Need more oxygen. Oh, shoot, I had this oxygen capsules. I should be using those to clear up my inventory. These are not caves. I think I've got more condensed carbon that I really know what to do with at this point, but I can't help myself. Right there in front of me. Where was that building? There it is. Alright, I will pass up that condensed carbon, but I do need oxygen. Take your oxygen, Watarvia. Ah, a an ancient relic. Alien spot. Nope, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Do I... Can I put this... I can put that on the freighter. Wow, my inventory is so small. I really need to expand it. A dihydrogen jelly. I don't, I don't care about your dihydrogen jelly. Have I already been here? Nope. Tribute to Sosus. Ancient knowledge passed down through the generation of Viking warrior spells from the Marker Stone, filtering into my mind like a long-forgotten memory. Seek knowledge of the past. That has given me a marker for some other alien thing to check out. Is that the new one? Or is that the old one? Is 
Is that it around here? It's kind of a lame sight. I have never gone this long without seeing a cave. I can't believe we have not seen a cave yet. Not a single cave. And now we gotta start heading back to the ship. Ugh, what a bust. Lots of dihydrogen, which we need to make this the, the dihydrogen we just passed. We need to make um, frigate fuel, but I don't want to waste time. Just not waste time, but I don't want to waste your valuable time just looking for just gathering stuff. Let's try to make some actual progress here. going to grab this oxygen plant before we get back to the ship. For what? For oxygen? Yep, we're at maxed out 250 oxygen. Alright, hang on. Before we take off... Um we do here? Move the Pugnium into my starship. Move the Mordite into the starship. Can we make another oxygen capsule? No. I'm with this dihydrogen jelly. I want to get rid of that. Sodium, sodium. We got lots of sodium. Lots of chromatic metal. Lots of condensed carbon. Oops, oops. I meant to take off. No, get out. But at least we saved. Alright, well. Maybe this is just not a planet with a lot of caves. There's something certainly not leaping out at me like they do on other planets. But again, there's water down there. Some freaking copper right here. Which we could use use some more of. I'm guessing killing these creatures with the ship will still count for our mission. I really don't want to kill ten of these things. one. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. I'm not proud. Caves? These look more cave-ish, but... Yeah, alright. That, that definitely looks more cave-ish. Let's try here. Okay. All right. We're good. This is going to have cobalt. It's going to have the marrow bulbs. It's going to have some pearls for us to sell.
Really, no marrow bulbs here? I didn't see any marrow bulbs, but we got the cobalt anyway. Plenty of it. Wow. We've actually maxed out our... Screw the dihydrogen jelly. We don't need that. We have we have that much carbon cobalt. I mean, yeah, 250. All right. No marrow bulbs. That's a marrow bulb. And that gives us nine per bulb, so we're gonna need four of them. All right, we got everything we need for the scientists. Let's just look around real quick in here, see if there's any other goodies. Going deeper. Deeper, deeper. <laughs> 21,000 credits for scanning that. All right, not, not deeper anymore, as much as I'd like to go off and do my own thing. Trying not to be a magpie. That's uh, not how we came in. That's how we came in. Sun's back up. Got my marrow bulbs. Got my cobalt. Find my ship. Alright, it's nice here in the morning, isn't it? The sun glinting off the snow. Back to the cougar's claw. And back to our scientist. I would like to experiment one of these times. Try taking my ship down under the water. I don't know what happens. I'd rather not experiment right now when I actually have some place to be. Scientist, physicist, entity, Veko no Giri. I've brought you some stuff. Corvax seems to have changed the happy soul they were on. They were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. I will give you the marrow bulbs. The Corvax lean forward, anxious for the rest of their materials. I will give you the cobalt. Corvax has completed the plans, but Traveler, they have. My people have abandoned me. As of 104 seconds ago, I lost the hearing, the sight of the Corvax Convergence. Eh, who? I now have the blueprints for a large refiner. That's great. I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. He uh, He's deeply upset, claiming that he, he's been disconnected from the hive mind. He asked me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. I will remove your core. Core removed. Entity offline. Alright, wait here. Don't go anywhere, and I will go to the transmission tower. And try to figure out why you've been disconnected from the convergence. Um... 
Let me sell this stuff as long as I'm here. Sell all the stuff. Like the marrow bulbs. And not the oxygen capsules, the albumin pearls. Okay. Right. Oh, wait, that's not my ship. There's my ship. Don't worry, scientists. We're trying to help you. Be there soon. We're going to the transmission tower. Which is over here. How far? 28 seconds. We're going to do that. Without going up into orbit. station here? Yeah. Okay. And of course, there was a cave right here. <laughs> well, doesn't matter anymore. But I will claim this sector. I claim Tavarske oil field. Ice field oil field. In the name of Kugarific. Hello? Anyone home? Nope. Terminal online. I prepare to insert the Corvax intelligence core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the Corvax convergence awaits. Hear the judgment. Terminal online connection established. Error. Corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Personality overwritten. Anomaly involvement detected. Quarantine Corvax science unit from convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Sentinel. Atlas. Universal foci. Countermeasures. Entropic. Galactic destruction. Rebirth. Error. Atlas. Error. They see you. Leave. Hmm. That was a little creepy. It wants me to return to the scientist. Fine. Is there anything in here for me? Nothing? That was it? Well, I think there's some other buildings here. Let's, let's check out the other buildings before we leave. There does not appear to be anything in here for me. Oh, this is nice. They, they've got some little sun chairs out here. A little deck. Yeah. Not worried about that. Um. Did I walk right by the entrance, or is the entrance buried in that cliff face? Really? Uh, I think the entrance is back there. And we cannot get in there. Oh, no, maybe we can. Did we run out? Hang on. Terrain manipulator? No, it's got a charge. Wait, 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 what's happening? Hmm, they wouldn't let me pull up the terrain manipulator for some reason. Until just, until I got out of the cave. Um, I don't think it's going to be worth wrestling with this freaking mountainside trying to get in here.
the terrain on this planet seems a little messed up. The way that other thing was was half s the the alien thing was half engulfed in rock, and now this one is half engulfed in rock. Something seems a little off on this planet. Of course, you know why? Because this is the planet I chose to settle on. That's why everything's all screwed up. No, there's no entrance here. I just, uh, I mean, I'm not going to spend all day doing this, but if, if there's a quick, easy way in here, I'll, I'll take it. That looks like a ramp that might get me in. No? No? No. All right, screw it. Screw it! We're out of here. Let's get back to the scientist and see what he wants us to do next. Well, in fact, guys, we, we haven't really done much of anything yet, but we're going to kind of have to call it an episode here. I'll get us back to base and we'll, we'll turn this in, this mission in with the scientist, but... Then we're going to have to call it an episode. We, we, we didn't get to do much because we encountered a glitch right at the start. Uh, we're not in a, a an advanced enough sector to build up our fleet and get that stuff going. But at least we've, we've taken two steps along the building up the base mission. Two slow, hesitant steps. A little bit slowed down by the lack of a ready, readily available cave here. But let's at least get this to the next stage of this mission. Hello, scientist. Are you okay? The Corvax, the Convergence did not seem very happy. The physicist entity's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. Trapped inside the data core, I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter with the transmitter. I'll ins reinsert the core. Shell reconnection in progress. The scientist is rebooting. It's going to take him an hour and a half to reboot. So we can cons go and do something else for an hour and a half, and then come back and advance this along a little bit more. But I think at this point we are going to call it an episode. We didn't get a heck of a lot done uh, for the reasons that I was just mentioning. But we are a little bit farther along the base expansion storyline. So thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the No Man's Sky next playthrough. And in the next episode, we'll hope to do more than just wander around somewhat aimlessly as we did in this episode. Stay safe, survivors.